Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Vicki, if you didn't know, I'm a travel nurse. Picking up my first ever assignment with my husband. He's also an ER nurse with me where we're gonna be working side by side, which is awesome. It has, it's has it been years since we've worked together, so we're super excited. But this is our first travel contract we're ever picking up. We left our home hospital and we're coming here for a three month stay. Today was our first day of orientation, so it was just it was like three hours long. It was honestly really nothing stressful. Got badges made, met other people who are traveling to the ER with us, and we met one of the managers for the ER, which was nice. But I gotta tell you, I wanted to film this morning, but I was such a bundle of nerves. I just couldn't get out of my own head. I was so nervous for no good reason. I know that today wasn't a big deal, but I'm hoping I can pick up the camera tomorrow. We have another day tomorrow. It's eight hours, supposedly, and it's at a campus that we're not even working at, so I think it's all computer training, but I just wanted to kind of keep it real with you guys, let you know how I'm feeling. First contract ever, letting you know what you can expect. Uh, I met a couple travelers who were seasoned travelers that came across as, you know, they had some advice, they had some things to say. When uh, this one guy, Michael, we said that this was our first contract ever, and he went, ooh, yikes guys and I was like oh don't say that please don't say that so I think you guys will get a real honest perspective of what your first travel nurse contract is like here but the rest of the day we just have to do modules so it's the online training you know every hospital does it they were of course signed yesterday due tomorrow so we're gonna be spending the rest of our day doing that nothing too exciting and then I'll check in with you guys hopefully I'll pick up my camera tomorrow morning and I'll bring you along and I'll let you know how things are going Home again, home again. So, home again. This morning, we had another couple hours of orientation. It ended up just being them going over IVs which is, you know, nothing crazy. They're different than what we're used to, but they aren't hard. They have a little button so that the sharps get sucked out, which is nice, ours were not like that before. And then new pumps, and the pumps are very different. So that's gonna be something interesting to get used to once we're on the floor. But uh, we just did a couple other skills. We had to do a couple modules related to their AccuDose. They call it OmniCell here. Uh, but then the lady, she said, and you have until 4.30 this afternoon to do modules. And we're like, wait a second. We were told they were due last night. We spent our entire day yesterday doing them. So we were sent home at 11 because we were done. So home again. But I mean, I can't complain. We're home. We're just going to hopefully try and get billed for all those module hours that we did while home. But we'll find out. I don't know how that works. But yeah, so now we just have the day to just enjoy. It's lovely outside today beautiful day and then I think we're gonna run some errands there's these energy drinks I really want to hunt down since we're gonna be night shift they're gonna be a must and then yeah we'll see what we get up to today and before I go and get changed I thought I would show you guys my headband so if this will focus here this is from a company called true north and I've tried them only very recently but I have like four or five they make the cutest healthcare prints and they really do stay on your head so you can have it as a twist here or you can have it just be straight across but yeah very nice and I'll be sure to link them down below for you guys okay so check the description box <laughs> we have screen doors on both sides which is lovely on a day like today he's opening all the windows so we can enjoy it and I'm out here with my coffee 
Look at this guy from Amazon. This is actually a gift from uh, Trevor's mom over Christmas, but they are so cute. It came in a two pack. Love it. So, Trevor and I, he's over there eating a snack. We just got done our first and only, I guess I can say, eight hours of orientation in the ED. And I, we got home maybe like an hour and a half ago because, and I had, didn't pick up the camera. I think him and I needed to decompress a little bit. That was a lot. I mean, they warned us that your first travel contract will feel like a lot, but everything, everything was different. Charting system is totally different. Equipment's totally different flow of how your day goes is totally different so it was like it was like being taught a new language in eight hours and then being told you need to be fluent for your first shift but that's okay I know that's what travel nursing is and I'm probably just feeling overwhelmed because him and I were talking on the way home and it's overwhelming but also weirdly doable you know they they showed you the ropes of charting so I can get by charting like actual patient care is fine I have no issue taking care of the patient hands-on, but it's how do you write a nursing note where, you know, the rules on head-to-toe assessment or not, focused assessment or not, like trauma bays, apparently we're going to get thrown into the trauma bays too, because it is a trauma center. TNCC? <laughs> she, she asked us today if we had TNCC, and we, we came from a level three and a level one trauma center, so we do, we're very used to trauma, but I... I Oh, she got excited hearing us say that, but that I think that also means that we're going to be thrown in the trauma base too, which if I can just emphasize, you're thrown into a situation which you know the patient care, but the frustrating part is just not knowing where anything is. You know, you're put in a room and it's just walls of drawers and, you know, I know what I need for this person, but being able to go and find it. And I know that'll come with time. You know, we only did eight hours today. We're going to do three months here, so we're going to figure it out eventually. But I just kind of want to express how we're feeling and where we're at in terms of our day. And, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I had such a lovely preceptor. She was so nice. She wanted to show me as much as possible. As soon as she heard that today was my only day of orientation, she took me around the entire place, tried to show me as much as she could while we were having our patients and, like, caring for them. And that was lovely, but feeling a little overwhelmed, yeah. And I think it's going to take a little bit of time to really master how to get around in this place. But it's, it's a whole mix of emotions here. Weirdly doable, but also overwhelming, right? Do you have anything to add over there? No, he's just eating his chips. <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, we'll report back. I, I think I might end this video here at just orientation. And I'm sure in my next couple of videos, you guys will see how we're doing. And hopefully you see a less panicked, less nervous nurse. And maybe it's a whole transformation. Maybe I'm going to report back and say it was, it was all overwhelming, but it's actually easy peasy. I don't know. Um, it did take a while. I don't know if it's every travel nurse experience is like this, but it did take a really long time to get access to... We called it an AccuDose, they call it an OmniCell, like where meds are dispensed. It took a really long time to get access to their charting system. That was a whole thing today. So, you know, fingers crossed. I'm just praying that our first shift on our own, everything's working and we're able to function independently. No, I, I wish I could put into words better how to... Because you're just thrown into this environment and they're just like, this is how you do it! Ah! And then... Well, because like it's not a classroom. No, and you're doing it. You're doing it full speed. There's no slowing down. It's because that's an actual patient we're learning yeah, it's on. It's on the go training. Yeah, it's different. It's yeah, and to, but. nurse and the patient ratio today was very interesting. So we had two room, like regular room patients, and then we had one hall bed. And where I came from, it was three rooms and one hall bed. Or four. Or yeah, or four rooms. And then he also had four rooms and a hall bed. So. The ratio today was lower, which we, they did say that's weird for this hospital, that we might not always expect that, you know, every day. If the staff is short, we might have a three to one, but like, that's still normal for us. That's still what we're used to. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave you guys here. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions on how to deal with everything, you can please comment down below. But if you want to follow along with us learning, struggling, figuring out travel nursing for the first time, you can like and subscribe this video, share it to someone who you think might 
enjoy or be interested in travel nursing because hopefully they get a pretty honest perspective from an anxious person, person who has anxiety, what it's like to do something like this because it's pretty far out of my bubble. Trevor's lovely and he's so outgoing and he could talk to a wall where I'm very nervous and anxious and scared all the time. So, all right guys, I'll see you soon. Catch me in the next video.